Welcome back. So today's video is going to be a makeup tutorial on the look I'm wearing right now. Don't mind that dance I just did. What was that? Let's start over. Hi ladies, welcome back. So today's video is going to be another makeup tutorial, obviously, on the look I'm wearing right now. This one is kind of a forest greeny, olive green kind of thing. It honestly turned out to be more neutral than green than I expected, but I still love the way it turned out. Yes, I have blue contacts in, don't mind me, I'm just feeling a little bit extra today and I just wanted to pop them in so because I was feeling like having a different color eye today. I don't know. I just wanted to wear them. We will be using the Lorac Mega Pro 2 palette. This is Lorac's like holiday, ooh, my hair is caught in my backdrop. This is Lorac's holiday palette for this year. Last year they came out with the Lorac Mega Pro and it sold out like really, really quickly. But from what I last heard, this one is still available, but ugh. But from what I last heard about this one, it is still available on Ulta.com. I think it's exclusive to Ulta. So if you go into an Ulta store or go to Ulta.com, you can get this beautiful palette. I'll just let you take a peek at it. Ugh, the gloriousness. I die. But yeah, we're going to be using a lot of the green shades on this side of the palette for this look. But yeah, no more rambling. I've been talking for like a solid five minutes. And that's just, just too damn long. We're going to jump into this makeup tutorial right now. I hope you guys enjoy it. Make sure you give it a thumbs up if you do. And let's just get on with it. Hey girls, so we're going to start off on the eyes today. Like I said in my intro, we will be using the Lorac Mega Pro 2. I'm going to jump into this color called Burlap on an E40 brush from Sigma. And we're going to blend this right into the crease as our transition color. It's a nice kind of mustardy brown. It's not too warm, not too cool. It's somewhere in between. And I think with green tones, that works perfectly. So we're just going to buff this all out and make sure it's nice and blown out and seamless as we would with any transition color. And then I'm going to go into this shade on an E25 brush from Sigma. This is called Forest and it is exactly that, just a really pretty forest green matte shade. And I'm going to take this primarily on the outer corner and then blend it throughout the crease. This does look a little bit choppy at first, which is why you want to go back in with your E40 brush and blend it right over the edges just to make sure that it's blending nicely into that burlap color that we put down before. But you just want to keep building up the pigmentation to your liking, go back and forth between those two brushes and just make sure that the green is the way you want it to look. Um, it will, the more you blend it out, the more neutral it will become. So just keep that in mind. But I'm going to go in with Saddle. This is a nice rich brown. I'm going to take that on this E, I want to say like E30 brush or something. And this is like a pointed tapered brush. I'm going to put this in the crease as well. This is just going to deepen it up, richen up the whole look and add some definition and some depth to the crease. Now I'm going to take this shade called Black Ivy. It's like a black with kind of gold and green reflex in it. And I'm going to pat this with a flat shader brush just on the very outer corner of the eye. Then I went in with this tiny little dome um, like blendy brush and I just went in and made sure to blend the edges because obviously this is a very dark color and you don't want it to look too out of place so you want to just go ahead and blend it out. Then I'm going to take Olivine, which I hope I'm pronouncing right, <laughs> but it's this really, really gorgeous shimmery olive color, and I'm just going to apply this straight to the lid. If you decide you want it to be more metallic and foiled and stand out more, you can go ahead and wet your brush and foil the shadow, but I felt like it was gorgeous on its own, so I just popped it on the lid, but it did have a little bit of fallout. I have to say I like the mattes in this palette more than the shimmers, but if you have a problem with fallout you can just go ahead and apply like a glitter glue or spray your brush and foil it and you'll be fine then I went in with the shade porcelain I think I mixed porcelain and custard together actually and I just put this right on my brow bone to highlight the brow and kind of clean up the edges of that um, like all the blending that we had going on then I went in with the Tarte Tardis liner and I just gave myself a nice wing I made my made my wing a little bit thicker but you obviously can decide how thick or thin you want your wing or if you even don't want to do a wing you don't have to i just love myself a good winged liner so i went ahead and applied that 
And then I went in with the Tarte Lights Camera Lashes Mascara and just applied a coat and then popped on these Ardell Double Wispies, which are my new favorite lashes. They are gorgeous. But once you have those on, we are going to start on the face. I'm going to first start by spraying my skin with some Max Fix Plus because I've been a little bit dry lately. So this just adds a little bit of moisture to my skin. Then I'm going to go in with the Smashbox Pore Minimizing Primer. I just put this on the center of my face to fill in my pores and smooth out any texture. And then I also take another primer, which is the, oh, taking too long on my primer, <laughs> which is the Hourglass Mineral Veil Primer. And I just put that right on top. This is really great because it smooths over the whole skin and makes your skin feel real, really nice and like velvety smooth, smooth and your foundation glides perfectly right on top of it. So I just put that on my skin and then I mix these two shades of the Makeup Forever Ultra HD Foundation. I can't remember the shades of them, but I'll list them down below. Do you guys even care? Because I don't know, you're going to have a different shade than me anyway. <laughs> but yeah, I just went in and applied this with a Sigma F80 Flat Top Kabuki, which I haven't used in a long time, but I've been really liking it lately. I don't know why, but it's been applying my foundation great. So I went ahead and applied that. And then I didn't get a separate shot of my concealer, but I'm using the Tarte Maracuja um, creaseless concealer and I'm just applying that with this makeup forever brush um, just in like that classic triangle motion under the eye sorry I was facetiming with my friends and so I was talking to them while I was filming this but yeah just go ahead and apply your concealer and then I'm going in with my damp beauty blender and blending it all out as usual um, I went on the on the forehead down the bridge of the nose all the places I usually conceal and then once that is all blended out I'm going to take the Laura Mercier translucent um, loose setting powder and with that damp beauty blender um, again I'm just gonna press that powder right on top of where we applied that concealer and this sets your concealer really really nicely it doesn't look cakey or too heavy like the baking technique does but I've been really liking this lately now I'm going into this Tarte um, oh wait Lorac tantalizer bronzer and I'm taking that bronzer side on this swirl power brush from Tarte and I'm just going to bronze up and contour my face using this one product. It is a little bit warmer. So if you want to use a separate contouring powder, you can go ahead and do that, but it worked fine for me. So I'm just going ahead and bronzing my skin. And then I decided to use the highlighter side of that and I sprayed my brush with some Fix Plus to try to foil it, but it wasn't nearly as glowy as I wanted it to be. <laughs> so I went in with um, this, I can't even remember the name of it, but it's just like a liquid highlighter. And I applied that to the tops of my cheekbones using my beauty blender. I got this in my boxy charm like during the summer and it was gorgeous. So I decided to use it. Now I'm taking Damselfly blush from Becca and just popping that on my cheeks. It's a really nice kind of darker coral and I thought it would look really, really good with the green tones that we have going on in the eyes. So I'm just applying that to my cheeks. And then moving back to the eyes, I'm going to take this Essence um, like brown gel pencil liner and I'm just going to line my waterline with it. Um, you can go ahead and do a black if you want this to be more intense. If you want it to be less intense, then you can skip um, lining your waterline or you can use like a nude shade. And then I'm going to take Forest this time on a flat definer brush. I'm going to press this right into the lower lash line. I made sure that it was really nice and pigmented. I took my time with this step and made sure to pack it on. But if you don't want it to be that intense, then you can go a little less heavy than I did, but I wanted it to be nice and smoky on the lower lash line. Then I took a little bit of that burlap shade on a pencil brush and I just went ahead and buffed out the entire lower lash line to make sure it was nice and smoky and blown out and seamless. And the longer you take on this step, the better it will look. Just take your time and keep blending that lower lash line. I actually took a separate pencil brush, which is a little bit fluffier, and I blended it out with no additional product, just made sure that it was nice and blown out once again. And then for the, oh, actually on the center of the lower lash line, I took a little bit of that olivine shade and I just popped it down there and added a little bit of a touch of like sparkle. It actually didn't add too much of a difference. So if you want to skip this step, you can go ahead and do that. But I just wanted to try it out and I like the way it turned out. It didn't really have much of a difference. Then I took this shade, which is Moonlight. It's like a gold cream shade like with a, a cream shade with like a gold shimmer and I just pop that on the inner corner to highlight the eye. You can use any other highlight shade that you want. I just decided to use this because I figured the gold would complement the green a lot and then I just finish up the eyes by applying a coat of mascara on the lower lash line as I would usually do. 
And then for lips, I'm going to be, use, be using the Stila Stay All Day Liquid Lipstick. This is in the shade Patina. It's a nice kind of darker neutral pink shade. It's like a mauve pink. It's really, really pretty. And these Stila Liquid Lipsticks are definitely one of my favorite liquid lipstick formula ever. So I definitely recommend them. They stay on all day and they feel really nice and comfortable on the lips. So I just went ahead and applied that. And once you do that, you are all good to go. And that is the end of this look. Okay, my loves, that's gonna be it for this makeup tutorial. I hope you enjoyed it. Make sure you give this video this video this video a big thumbs up if you did and make sure you hit that subscribe button make sure you hit it so that you can be updated with all of my new videos tell me in the comments down below if you want me to either do a swatch video of this palette or if you just want me to do any more specific looks i love you all so so much thank you for watching and i will see you in my next video bye